Good morning, Sam Man. I'm Chloe Knudsen. I am Gloria Mason. And I am Maddie Sharp. Last week, many of us tuned in to, to watch NFL's top teams compete in the Super Bowl. Many viewers were in awe of their extraordinary athleticism, but how many people stopped to think about what those professional athletes were like as children? Our Ava Mello is on the track this morning with an aspiring professional athlete just seven years old and already getting attention from the pros. Good morning. I am here with Rudolph Ingram Jr., also known as Blaze the Great. Blaze, you have gained a following of over 300,000 people on Instagram, including LeBron James from the LA Lakers and Mike Evans from the Tam Tampa Bay Buccaneers for your speed. How did you get so fast? Well, I've been training since I was four years old. Wow! Yeah, my dad is manager and video photographer and my uber driver he has really embraced my desire to become a great athlete but he is also my dad and makes sure that i take time to just be a kid too lebron james is a star basketball player and mike evans is a star football player which sport do you hope to be a part of when you are older right now i am thinking of the nfl or the olympics no one really knows what's ahead of me, but right now I know that I love what I'm doing and I am looking forward to my future. Thanks, Blaze. Blaze, I'm looking forward to watching you grow. If you like to see him in action, look for his highlight reel. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Ava. I was impressed to see that Blaze set a United States record for his age group. Who knows, maybe Blaze the Great is the next Usain Bolt. Good morning, Sam, and I am Ben here to report a new story for you. And I am Avery. Move over, Vermont. New Jersey is moving in on the maple syrup business. That's right. If you have red maple trees growing in your yard, Stockton University has a job for you. Yes, as you said, it would be a job, which means there is work involved. They are looking for people in the South Jersey who are interested in extracting the sap from their maple trees and processing it into syrup. Don't worry if you don't know how to do this, Stockton University will provide you the materials and the training necessary to be successful in this work. Let's hear it from David, who is on the Stockton's campus right now, speaking with Judith Vogel about this program. Hello, Judith. Thank you for speaking with me today. Thank you for coming to our campus all the way up in Galloway Township. My pleasure. What can you tell our viewers about this exciting opportunity to partner with Scott Stockton University to begin producing maple syrup for trees in their own yard? Well, first of all, you must have several red maple trees on your property and a willingness to commit to our research that is a three-year undertaking. If you or a friend have the time and qualifications to help with this important research, reach out to me at this email. Sounds easy enough. That's only the beginning. Tapping is hard work, so you have to put the time and effort in if you want to be selected. If you are selected to participate in this program, you can expect a Stockton research assistant to visit your property and collect soil and vegetation samples. How will the tree owners collect the sap that they will turn into serum? Participants who are particip participating will use traditional tree tapping methods as seen here. Wow, that's easy enough. <laughs> Thank you for the time, Judith. Back to the studio with Ben and Avery. Thank you, David. I know I'll be examining my property tonight to see if I have any red maple trees. Me too. I love syrup and pancakes. I think many people will enjoy this unique opportunity to partner with Stockton University to see if South Jersey trees have what it takes to join the maple syrup industry. Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of SCNN School Edition. We hope you have your umbrellas ready because it's been raining cup cash and co coming up in March the school store will be opening back up. I for one can't wait to spend my hard earned cup cash I've been saving up. I hear the store is going to be fully stocked with the coolest stuff and everyone's favorites. 
We don't want you to get too excited, but we heard that there's going to be AirPods, Hydro Flasks, and raffle tickets for a bike. Not to mention, you can buy the opportunity to be a teacher for a day, and a principal for a day, and visors. Wait, visors? Just kidding. Hey, remember at the last school store, you could donate money to a charity? Yeah, whatever happened to that? Glad you asked, because me and Addie have an update on that for everyone. Let's go over to them now. Hi there, I'm Addie here with Mia. And we're here to tell you some wonderful news. We raised $500 to give to Lower Township Education Foundation, which funds the dinner program, and half will go to the Wounded Warriors Project. That's right. Students donated their cub cash, and then local businesses and organizations stepped up to turn that cub cash into real cash. We'd like to recognize those amazing people for supporting us. First off, the Lunch with Lynch Foundation, which provides students with the values and skills to become exceptional leaders in the community. Next, we would like to thank Crest Savings Bank for helping us to donate to our charities. They are a hometown bank with roots right here in Lower Township. We also have Wildwood Sea Dew to thank for helping us, realizing our goal of donating real money to charity, owned and operated by Mrs. Grace's husband, Joe Grace, who is actually here with us today. Hi, Mr. Grace. We would like to give you our biggest thanks for turning this idea into a reality. Hi. I'm happy to be here. When I heard about the program, I thought it would be a great thing to be involved with, and I see that everyone's done a great job with it. Thank, Thank you. you. Last and certainly not least, we have the Greater Wildwood Elks who did any money for our charities. The Elks are an organization that exists to help the community. We're grateful for their support. Thank you again to all the businesses and organizations who donated. We would like to tell everyone that we received $500 of Cub Cash. With the generosity of our sponsors, we were actually able to give $750 to the charities. This is great news and it makes us proud to contribute to two worthwhile causes. That's all from us. Now back to the studio. Wow, that's crazy that we were able to donate that much money. I know, right? And it all started because of an idea two sixth graders had. That's right. Kylie Saltzman and Alana Wright of Miss Ambacher's class. It makes sense they came from Miss Ambacher's class since she is such a kind, generous, caring, one of a kind teacher. Yes, it's awesome that we have students in our school who care that much that they would go on their own to speak with Mr. Cathcart about donating Cub Cash. Hello, my name is Jerry Boyle, and I'm uh, representing the Greater Wildwood Elks Lodge, uh, located in North Wildwood. I'm the past president of the lodge, and I'm here representing the members and the officers of the lodge. Uh, we heard about this project, you young ladies raising money for the, the school district and also for the Wounded Warriors, and we, uh, we're very proud of you. So I'm happy to be here today to make a presentation and to match your your uh, fundraising in cash. So we just want to say thank you and we appreciate all the efforts that you made and to let you know that the Elks uh, support you and we're very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're here with Kylie and Alana, the two students who came up with the idea of donating cup cash. What made you two think of this amazing idea? I thought that cup cash could be could be used to help people, not just buy toys. Was it hard for you to have the courage to ask Mr. Cathcart? No, because Mr. Cathcart is very understanding and listens to students. Did you two think it was going to be hard to find sponsors to turn Cub Cash into real cash? No, because we knew people would were people would be willing to donate um, to, for a good cause. Do you think you would have raised as much money as you did? I think we raised well over what we thought we were going to raise. Thank you, Kylie and Alana. Now back to the studio. This is, well, this has been a real feel-good story, and I can't wait to bring you another one next week. Thanks for watching SCNN School News. Bye, Bye Sandman! Sandman.